A couple of years ago, Sir Richard Branson challenged me to see how far under the ocean I could explore. And now I've finally got an answer. Back at the end of 2012, I introduced myself to Trident Sensors, a local business working in the marine technology industry. I told them all about the challenge and that I do my projects by working alongside businesses using simple technology and going about it as if anyone else could. They were more than happy to get on board and so a year of R&D later, I found myself at the airport. I ambitiously wanted to send this submersible to the bottom of the deepest trench in the Atlantic Ocean, but my first concern was actually getting the submersible through airport security. It's built to go down eight and a half thousand meters, which is about the same as you know flying at thirty thousand feet. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to send it down. Send it down I was, and with the sweet talk out of the way, I jumped on the plane and headed excitedly to the sunny Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. Despite the thunderstorms, I made my way to the harbour to meet Captain Mike, his son Chris and their lovely boat Russ and me, built for practicality which suited the Josh and Talk way down to the ground or water, rather. Whilst the rain came down, we decided to build the submersible and make some last adjustments. The submersible had been designed to capture video footage. It also has a pressure logger and a GPS and data comm system. By that evening, the rain began to subside and the next day we did a float test. The plan at the moment is to head out tomorrow morning. Although the weather is a bit unpredictable, Captain Mike said that it's actually the worst weather he's seen for quite a few months here. But we're going with it, we're seeing what we can do, we're all ready. Hopefully we can rock and roll soon. The weather began to work in our favour and we made the decision to get the 10 hour sail underway, heading around 60 miles north to the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean. The following morning, and after an ongoing battle with seasickness, I woke up to this. Surrounded by endless, huge, deep blue ocean waves lapping up against the wooden planks of Russell Mead, and below us, a sheer drop of 8,500 metres. A few final touches, and the submersible's time had come to do its job. And as quick as that, the submersible slipped away into darkness. Once at the bottom, the submersible uses a fizz link that snaps a wire to drop the weight and the blocks of syntactic foam pull it back up to the surface. All I could do was wait. Suddenly, around five hours later, our deck unit printed out some data. I couldn't believe it. The submersible was back on the surface and we had good GPS coordinates to find it with. Captain Mike translated them onto his GPS and we sailed as fast as we could towards the submersible. As we got near, everyone has their eyes peeled. We tracked up the coordinates a few times and well, this was always going to be the hardest part. It's like trying to find a glass bead in a swimming pool. Minutes turned into hours and the GPS coordinates gradually stopped. Then, with the sun setting low, I had the frustrating realisation that we weren't going to find it. I just have to hope that someone will pick it up and send it back to us when it finally washes up on a beach. So, no video footage or pressure sensor readings, but the most important data of all was sent back to us by the GPS and data comm system. It had sent us data that allowed me, well, the brains at Trident Sensors, to calculate the depth the submersible had reached on its journey. The trick is to work out um, the volume and the excess weight you have on the instrument. So the instrument itself... Um, Bill proceeded to explain the calculations behind the data we had received and whilst I nodded my head enthusiastically I was eager to find out what the verdict was. So I reckon that a, a four hour travel time, yeah. four to five hours is absolutely spot on. So I think yes it did hit the bottom. So, Sir Richard Branson, you challenged me to see how far under the ocean I could explore and it's with great pleasure that I can tell you that we explored well over 6,000 metres, if not getting the submersible to the bottom about 8,500 metres down. 
Overall, I've really enjoyed doing the project. It's been great to have so many people on board and it's been great to have so much support as well. I'm hoping that everyone can join me in the next Josh and Talk adventure. I'll keep doing the projects. I've got many more in the pipeline that will make people laugh in disbelief, but I feel like if I've done this, I can do other stuff now and it'd be great to have some funding on board to help do it. I've enjoyed all the ups and downs of the projects, from being seasick to... Maybe not, I haven't enjoyed being seasick, to be fair. Thank you.